Don't focus. <gasps> oh, oh, I felt that in my knees. Oh, this is crazy. Hey guys, welcome to the Rainbow Reels with Panos and Matt. We are on to the final episode of season one, Solo Leveling. Can't believe it. Cold Arise. Yes. Last episode was wild. Another Jin wild Wu episode. was fighting the Crimson Knight. Igris, yes. S rank. Defeated him. Mm -hmm. But then suddenly at the end, this bonus... Enhancement level or whatever. Level appeared. And, and now he's fighting multiple enemies. Well, he wanted to get out, but he lost the escape, the yes. runestone, no? So he's trapped. He has not a lot of HP, 190 mm -hmm. HP or something. So let's see what happens next. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there goes the HP. It would be good for them to tell us how much his, uh, HP he has left. Mm. I'm just gonna check. You did. It's gone. How's he gonna beat them all? Mm. Uh, I was about to say, we haven't seen the fatigue in a while, but he's also wearing the armor, which is not bad. It's protecting him a little bit, no? Mm. Oh no. <gasps> wow. no. I feel like it's also kind of unfair, because it's like just a bonus thing. He shouldn't have to do it. But also like, I hope he can't die from this. I don't know at this point, you know. Oh, oh. this is crazy. Ooh, Ooh is this, this is gone. painful. Oh, the focus. Oh, I felt that in my knees. Oh, this is crazy. What is going on? I going? guess maybe that's going to motivate him? What? In a saboteur? What? Oh my god. I felt that in my knees and now I'm just goosebumps. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I wonder if this is the system, like talking to him. Maybe. It's like wow. challenging him, you know, to see if he's really ready, maybe for the next worst possible time to be listening to yourself. <gasps> no. Mm. He's not wrong, like he needs to be a bit more careful, you know? But he also needs to stop listening to this inner voice. Question for. Oh no! It removed him. Penalty, yes. It removed him. Oh no. He needs to survive another four hours? Oh yes. He didn't do the daily quest. Good thing he didn't do it. But as soon as the penalty is over, he's going to get back into that quest now. I can heal now. Mm -hmm. Wow, way to trick the system. Oh, wow. Oh, but they're now yellow. Interesting. Wow, here we go. Let's go. Paralysis, paralysis, paralysis. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, that looks cool. Crack. Mm, he got new stuff. 
New knife. Night killer. Well, that would have been useful. Perfect. Against all those knights, yeah. Oh, yes. What was the skill? Leading hand or something, no? Ruler's hand. The user can physically manipulate objects without touching them. Telekinesis? Ah, ah yes. Oh, well, that would be good if he can recall like weapons and stuff, you know? We are back, oh, back, back, back again. Oh. Yeah, that's what we said, no? <laughs> He's like, I'm healed, let's go. <laughs> In the ocean? Mm. He's wow. slicing them up. 25% against armor, but he's slicing through them. Is that a mage? I guess he needs to kill them first. Well, usually those are the ones being protected, right? Because they have the less lesser armor. Oh. The gate. He needs to close the gate. Those are the real enemies. Interesting. Oh, the mage's control. Oh, wow, this looks so cool. Five more to go. Ruler's hand. Wow, this is cool. Wow. This is incredible. They've done a very good job here. <gasps> wow. Amazing. Wow. Just a pile of armor. See, he can throw them around. It is like telekinesis. Them, yes. But he was trying on the, the centipedes, one. you know, yeah, so... Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. A golem. This may or may not be the craziest job change quest I've ever seen. Yeah. Wow, this was cool. <laughs> uh, they're all protecting the last two mages. <gasps> oh. Three mages. Nice. What is this? Oh, oh the, the golem, golem is still there. The way they are playing with perspective yeah. is incredible. Wow, this weapon is incredible. You know, I'm surprised they didn't revive Egris or something. The mages. That would have been crazy, no? Like a zombie Egris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Analysis complete. Huh? Huh? What? 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 He can summon Shadow Army. Necromancer. Necromancer. He can revive stuff or he can control stuff? Yes, this is huge. Imagine you have be like an assassin that has necromancer yeah. abilities. Yeah, but he... Yes, take it. This is unique, I would take it. Exactly. Oh, 
いいだろう。Interesting. Yeah, I guess he can summon them now. No. Arise. Stop it. No, you can summon all of them. Stop. Surely he has to level up or something. First, like, level the skill up. Hmm. I would pick up Igris. Wow, you can keep them. That's what I'm talking about. Take Igris with you. Ooh, maybe Igris is too strong. Oh, interesting. Level one. <gasps> Lose Igris! Take Igris! Okay, so he can't take him because he already has too many awakened, arise, or, uh, arisen, or whatever. Okay. Wow. Wow. See, that's what I mean. It's too early for such a strong. I guess he needs, I don't know, like a strong mind for it. Wow. Good He's like, all right, all right, I'm gonna be your friend. Wow, this is crazy. Wow. That was the Level ultimate, seven already. ultimate transformation. This is crazy. Wow. And he kneels as well. This is crazy. I'm, I kid you not. Wow, this is this is emotional. I, this is crazy. No, don't let that this was be a bit the scary end. though. I thought that too, actually. Like it's that too. going to his head, maybe? Is there um Oh oh the island Mutation? They evolving. Ah, it was meant to happen. They're evolving and they're gonna attack the mainland. But it's evolution. Episode 12, Arise. What do you think? Wow. What an episode. Yeah. Very short, but amazing. Short, but like... Still, I feel like a lot happened. Punk, you like, punk, yeah. yeah. And obviously the fighting was amazing as mm. always. Yet again, he almost dies. Right. He almost died. <clears throat> Luckily, he didn't he do had the daily his, quest. He had his inner voice or yes. whatever it was. Talk to him. Mm -hmm. You know, like, good enough. Yeah, he was like doubting himself. Mm -hmm. But again, he was like 
very lucky mm, that very this lucky. penalty thing came up. Just in time. Just in time. I'm like... Is it the system again trying to protect him? Yeah, like right it's in weird, that moment? No? It's weird. It's it's there's always something. Like the system never it, it feels like the system is always in control yeah. of his life. As much as he is his own player, he does his own thing, mm. it actually is always the system that saves him. Like there is one more little thing. Yeah, like it's almost like always pushing him to his limits. Yeah. But then it saves him. Yes. And of course, amazing to because in the in that particular dungeon now in the job change dungeon, he wasn't able to use potions mm -hmm. or anything else. But of course, in the penalty quest, he can use everything. He and then he bought the a shop. new yeah, and yeah. He bought a new weapon, yeah, which yeah. then was really useful for him. Yes, because what was it called? Night Night Killer or something. Night Killer or something. Yeah. yeah. Twenty five percent stronger against armored mm. enemies. Yeah. And then he gets back fully healed with a new weapon and. He was slicing them up. Realizes it's the mages he needs to kill because the knights continue to come. I loved the, the mages summoning those eyes. You know, every time he would go into the stealth mode, mm -hmm. those eyes would appear yeah. and then focus him. That looked incredible. Um, and then he kills the mages and he finishes the quest. Yeah, and then this class change comes up. And the system doesn't even allow him to choose. The system is like, no, no, I'm going to do a little analysis. I'm going to give you what I think exactly. is the best thing for you. It was interesting because I wasn't able to read everything. Mm. But like it was saying, like just the way he was fighting, you know, mm -hmm. by himself and like taking risks and stuff. It makes sense. It makes sense. And thinking about it, you know, magical abilities on assassin class characters or any sort of fighter class character, like... A, a knight or, 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 or an assassin that can heal is amazing. Mm. Why not? You know? I think he was just initially scared that he would lose his assassin abilities. Yeah. And he would be, he said, oh, I'm going to be in the back line. Yeah. I'm not a back line fighter. But then it said something, it's a hidden skill, skill or something. So mm. it means, I guess, he's still assassin, but he has also this on top now. He yeah. can use it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he even exceeds the leveling up. It says that he reached the threshold. Yeah, uh, he already became... Ne what was it? Necromancer and then... Mage or something? Um, something mage? Monarch. Something Yeah, something monarch. monarch. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then he summoned those... All of them. Spirits. But you know what was interesting? He then... I mean, I was thinking yet yeah, right away, if you could go back and and start summoning, but you kill them all and they're all gone. But mm -hmm. imagine you could summon like Cerberus and, and, and the other creatures that he fought, you know, that, that the, the snake he fought in the third or fourth episode, mm -hmm. Kazas or whatever the name was. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, you know, it was very interesting. Your success depends on the level, but also how long the creature had died yeah. or passed. Yeah. So I'm imagining some, someone like, like the, the snake's probably long gone at this point. Yeah, it's exactly. like the spirit has left. Um, but then, of course, Igris. But in order to summon Igris, he needed to release 11 of the knights, mm -hmm. right? So it looks like, and it's talked about shadow storage, it looks yeah. like that he has a max capacity, which yeah. I'm sure he can increase as yeah, he levels. Time, yeah. And then we see him initially failing with Igris because Igris is an S rank, but eventually, you know, the speech was actually really cool and really smart. He said, why would you, why would you stay here? protecting a throne of a king long gone yeah exactly you know fight with me uh serve me and then bam igris is like all right i'm gonna i'm gonna fight with you and then igris decides okay i need a cape it looked amazing that was like super cool and the cape yes it took me back to my to to our youth back then when we were gagging over the salem transformations yeah true what an episode what an episode and now we are at the end on that island and we find out that these creatures have started evolving which makes sense it almost looked like they didn't really show it but it was like it looked like an insect with a wing with wings you know mm -hmm. so it means they, they can fly yes. and they can fly over to the mainland exactly exactly because the very first episode we saw those were just ants you know and when they were in the helicopter whatever it was they were also saying there was they detected mana in the water or something yeah so i'm assuming that might have been an ant that started flying but it's not strong enough, so mm, it, 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 maybe. it just drowned or something. 
but that doesn't mean that there won't be more yeah you know that yeah. that eventually becomes strong enough to fly long distance mm -hmm. right because it's about being able to fly long distance yeah. and this is the end what do you think of the whole season yeah it's been amazing um just to see Jin Wu like grow obviously leveling up mm -hmm. I wish he would have made like more friends mm. and companions yes almost because he's always like it feels like he's really solo leveling solo leveling like he's really just by himself he's getting stronger yes but also like we said it not only physically yeah. has it changed a lot he drifts away but also like like his emotion, like his, he's a lot tougher now. Yes, colder. Right? Colder. He has killed humans as well. Yes. Obviously to defend himself. He has still. Yes. And I'm just like worried now also with a new class mm. and the way he looked at the end. At the end, yeah. That he's going to lose even more of that. We're going to lose him eventually. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm thinking the same, you know, that potentially could happen and you i mean the saying goes you know remember where you came from right always remain humble and uh, success can change a person uh of course this is a different type of success here in this in, in this scenario and ultimately he his objective is still genuine right he's doing it for his family he's doing it for his mother and mm -hmm. the sister but he can still lose himself in it yeah uh and it's a very very valid point I would have, I agree with you, it would have been nicer to see him have uh, friends, like closer friends. I, I really thought that eventually that healer girl, I forgot her name, mm -hmm. what's her name, Yohei, Yohei, okay. she would have come to, like they would have come together and, and she would have been some sort of backup or something, but yeah, we know now she's obviously gone. But even Jin Ho. Yeah. Right? I thought like maybe this going to be some kind of friendship developing. Maybe, but, but maybe, we'll maybe it will more. come. But yes. right now, it more, it's more like a... Partnership. Partnership, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like a work work thing. Yes, yes. I... Well, obviously, we didn't go into this not really knowing what to expect. Um, I also didn't know it was only 12 episodes, but mm. absolutely amazed by how beautiful it is. The animations are amazing. Yeah. They've done a great job also with the music. Um, you know, it really is... is it feels like it's something that we've seen before, but it feels fresh, right? Yeah. The way the system also operates. And um, there, there are a lot of similar, similarities to um, Sword Art Online, right? Mm -hmm. With it, it being a game and stuff, and it yeah. looks like a game because Sword Art Online had a similar vibe. But here, what I really like is that everything is happening in, in the reality. It's not a VR yeah. reality, it's not a VR game. I'm saying reality. It's his reality because nobody else sees what he sees. Yeah. Um, but I agree with you and I hope we will see more of Jin Ho in uh, season two. And I wonder if Jin Ho is actually also at one point or another going to fight or is he just going to be that, that mana boy, you know, yeah, running exactly. around and just collecting mana. But also very intrigued to see how he starts ranking against those S ranks. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to see the brother of the um, guild leader that he killed in that c rank dungeon. Exactly. He's still coming for him. The revenge. Right? So... Yes. Are we going to see him in season two or do we need to wait? Do we need to wait longer? Yeah. But it's been an amazing, amazing show, an amazing season. Can't wait for season two. We will be watching a lot more along those lines. We have uh, Demon Slayer coming up soon. We're also going to be watching My Hero Academia mm -hmm. and we're also going to be watching uh, Kaiju number eight, yes. which is coming next week, which is quite exciting. So solo leveling finishes now, but there will be more coming to fill that spot and we'll see you for the next one. Stay tuned.